undertaken geophysical survey which has identified a Roman site to the south of where we're standing and an Iron Age stand, uh, site exactly where we are stood at the moment, which was then further evaluated through trial trenches, the small slip trenches, which I'm sure a lot of people would have seen. We have an Iron Age settlement and a Roman settlement further away and what we're really wanting to find out is whether or not the Roman settlement and the Iron Age settlement lived independently of each other or if the Iron Age settlement actually continued and just moved slowly into the Roman period. Really the most useful tool which we got was geophysical survey. The geophysical survey here did identify a very large Iron Age settlement which was completely unknown. This site does give us a great opportunity to evaluate basically from North London all the way to Birmingham and beyond in the future a giant evaluation trench. It'll tell us a great deal about it and it's a really exciting piece of work to be working on. We've found a, quite a considerable number of artefacts, uh, both Iron Age and Roman for from uh, both sites really. We've got quite a considerable number of them over on the table actually, if you'd like to come and have a look at them. We've got basically Iron Age finds and the Roman finds. Um, we've got a considerable number of Iron Age pottery here, and then we've got a number of coins. Uh, there's a Roman coin here, which gives us a good date for the site further south. Uh, this is Constantine the first. We have here a piece of uh, Roman Samian ware. This is probably from Southern Gaul down in France. Uh, it's actually got a stamp on it which is going to be uh, the specialist will be able to analyze that stamp and some more locally where uh uh, pottery with uh, some great um, some, uh, impressions there as well. The next pot which we have is a complete Roman vessel. This one's uh, probably dates to about the second or third century again and is uh, a locally uh, made greyware vessel. We have uh, some scales here for, uh, for weighing scales, Roman weighing scales, um, a brooch here as well and interestingly a Roman key as well so we can only just tell of what kind of doors this key really opened or what, it, what chest it opened. It always brings it to me really how kind of I sort of really was really, you know, it, it, we, we might think that everything has changed so over time. Technology's changed, but these people were still trying to live like we do today really. Mm -hmm.